it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you Hi everyone, I'm Devin and you are watching The Egan Family and today I am continuing our De-Stress My Mess series and moving on to our bathrooms. So what you see me doing here first is I am getting ready to strip off the paint from all of our old hardware that was on our upstairs bathroom vanity and you'll see what I end up doing with that um, in Tuesday's video but for now I need to get all of this years and years of gunked on paint and just debris removed so all I did there was fill the bottom uh, part of an old pan that I am NOT using for cooking anymore with baking soda place the hinges on top of the baking soda and then pour in just enough water to cover the hinges and then I'm going to heat it up until it starts simmering and when it's simmering I am going to cover it and set a timer for a half an hour so I just wanted to give you all of that background before we did our official introduction and welcome you all to our channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video if you are new to our channel we would love to have you stick around and subscribe we are a family of five from upstate New York and we share tons of cleaning motivation homeschool content and I share personal like motherhood content, uh, struggles with mental health, all of those types of things, um, and the occasional vlog. So if any of that is of interest to you, we would love to have you stick around and subscribe. And if you are coming back to our channel as a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you more than we could ever express. And we love interacting with you in the comments. So make sure to don't forget to check us out there. That hand and the reason that the camera is a little bit shaky in these clips is uh, that hand belongs to my adorable niece, Summer, and we were actually having a cousin sleepover this night with two of the kids' cousins, uh, their cousins, Evelyn and Summer. We had a really great time. We set up a three-person tent in our living room and they had a camp in and it was adorable. We watched movies and made popcorn, but in between all of that, I tried to get some things done in the bathroom. So if you see a little red hair popping in and out, that is summer. And later you do get to see little Evelyn's hand as well. They're a beautiful, adorable girls. We love them so much. They're sweethearts. And actually summer had wrapped a fidget toy around my braid and asked me to keep it in. So that's what's there. <laughs> So yes, this is part two of our De-Stress by Mess series where we are moving on to tackling everything in these bathrooms. I did want to talk about this downstairs bathroom a little bit. It, that's Evelyn's hand right there. Um, it is quite awkward. Oh no, I apologize. That was Summer's hand again. It is quite awkward to film in this bathroom. As you can see, it's quite a weird shape. Um, it is a very small bathroom, but it is considered a full bathroom because it does have a stand-up shower in here. So we are actually going to be doing some cosmetic work in this bathroom, uh, not too distant future. So really what I want to do is not work on any of the small cosmetic projects right now. It's just not in the budget at this time. It will be very soon. And so I just wanted to give it a really thorough clean. So I wiped down all the cobwebs. I'm giving the toilet a really good scrub. And actually I am once again mopping the floor and baseboards with antibacterial wipes. I really just wanted to get on my hands and knees and scrub the floor really, really, really super well. Like I said, our plans for this bathroom are very uh, minimalistic because we don't really have a lot of space. I would like to put some uh, beadboard on the bottom portion of the walls, uh, remove that toilet paper holder that you see there that's not really our style, and I would like to paint the top half of the walls a very soft gray and put in some industrial style um, shelves with using like piping as um, 
the like shelf supports and just really nice pieces of wood and then adding organizational bins up as well and then doing something to update our medicine cabinet and light fixture. And we also want to have a plumber come in and take a look at the shower. We have a water pressure and heat uh, issue with the shower so we don't ever use it so I want to see how easily that is fixable and if it's not fixable then we will discuss just removing the shower which we actually use as like mop storage at the moment so that those are our plans our updated plans for this bathroom downstairs and we also have some plans upstairs which you will get to see that bathroom in Tuesday's video um so if you are new to the De-Stress My Mess series, make sure to check out our introduction to the series in the description box. I will have the entire playlist listed down below, and in that you can find all of the things that we're doing. But basically, a quick summary is I've split up our house into 12 different weeks worth of work, 12 different spaces in our house, and I am tackling them slowly but surely to make sure that our house is in great condition coming into the new year and trying to get rid of clutter, things that we no longer use, and just really optimize the storage that we have and tackle some projects that we have been putting off for far too long. So here I am cleaning all of the individual pieces that belong back in the bathroom. This shelf will obviously be donated once we can update the shelving but for now we need it so giving it a really good wipe down it's been a while since I pulled it out and made sure that all of the pieces were really scrubbed down nice you'll be able to see just how disgusting everything built up was in a little bit um, but it it really needed it and definitely it was much easier to work outside of the um, of the bathroom because like I did mention it is quite tight in there so we needed to get everything completely wiped down and I did work on this all while the hinges were simmering on the stove so all in all this entire day's worth of projects took um, roughly around 45 minutes so that wasn't that bad and we were I was able to accomplish an awful lot and so I was extremely proud. There is all of the gunk that I was able to scrub off of that. showing it very well in the video but we did still have some residue left on the sink after I had cleaned it with the antibacterial wipe so I'm going in with my trusty baking soda and vinegar and my cleaning toothbrush to give it a really good scrub down the kids and I do a lot of painting projects and this is where we wash a lot of our brushes from acrylic paint so every once in a while we get tiny little specks of acrylic paint that hardens onto the porcelain of the sink and it's just really easy to scrub off with some baking soda, vinegar, and a little bit of elbow grease. So I really was trying to put in the work to get in all of the little nooks and crannies and make the sink as shiny sparkling white as I could.
This is what that water looked like after it was done simmering for a half an hour. You can see it's very discolored and you can also see how easy it is to just scrape at the paint. I was absolutely amazed at how quickly some of the paint was just coming right off of it. So I did move it over to the sink and put down a barrier so um, none of the paint would go down into the drain. And I added a little bit of warm water, um, lukewarm water, so I didn't burn my hands, so I could get in and scrub any of the other uh, paint particles off. Like I said, most of it peeled off really, really easily, but there was some built up in the cracks of the hinges that I just gave a little scrub with the toothbrush. But like I mentioned, this process maybe took 10 minutes to get all four hinges as clean as possible. There was still some stuck on paint, but it's so flush with the hinges at this point, they will be very easy to spray paint over, which was ultimately what I was going to do anyway. So I didn't really worry about that too much. I just gave it a really super thorough scrubbing and I was so pleased with how they turned out. So I would absolutely recommend this method. I've seen other methods recommended where you can leave them in a crock pot for a really long period of time. But if you have a spare pot laying around or can take a trip to a thrift store, this was so easy, only took a half an hour. And uh, our, like I said, those were pretty gunked on with layers and layers and layers of paint. So the fact that it came off this easy, I was more than happy with. The only other thing that I would maybe recommend if you are going to try this project is to invest in a wired brush. Um, a toothbrush is great, but um, it's meant to clean things off of a very delicate surface like our teeth. So I think that if I had a wired bristled cleaning brush that my 10 minutes could have even been lowered but i didn't mind putting in the little extra effort to save some money but if you are going to try this project or if you have more than four hinges that you're trying this project on i would recommend investing in a wire bristle brush And there's Evelyn making her little entrance into our video. Like I said, we had an absolute blast with those girls and we were so happy. It was all of their first sleepover. Um, Evelyn is nine, Summer is eight, and Parker is seven. And then they have two other cousins, Levi and Ezra, that we are so excited to be able to have over another day. Um, the kids get along so well with their cousins and we absolutely love watching them play and interact. And it's great that they're all so close in age. Um, they're all a within a year or a year and a half of each other and so it's it's really great watching them all get along and even the big kids are so good with the little kids and there's just never any issues when we're all together and it's wonderful i grew up super close to my cousins so i am thankful that they have this experience as well and a close family so that is about all I was able to accomplish on this day. Like I said, we were trying really hard to spend our time with family, but this little 45 minute project was a great jump start to our bathrooms. Our bathrooms are not huge spaces, so there really wasn't too much to tackle this week, but I figured that it would be a really cool project to share with you as I had never done this before, and I was very pleasantly surprised to see how, sh how shockingly easy it was to remove years and years of paint. So I was hoping that maybe some of you might find it interesting as well. So don't forget to check out our playlist of the De-Stress My Mess series. We have also a ton of other videos if this isn't the normal type of video that you watch. Thank you so much for coming to our channel. We um, upload videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, normally at 10 a.m. This one is going up a little bit later just because, like I said, we were spending time with family, so I didn't want to be on the computer editing. 
Um, Parker, our son, also has his own personal channel called Parker's Playground. It's always listed in the description. If you are interested in the types of videos he will be uploading on his channel, you can check out our latest video, which was the Jelly Bean Challenge that had originally gone up on his channel. Um, we also are very active on Instagram, so if you haven't already, go follow us over there. Uh, I post pretty much daily, uh, our daily life, and I do post more um, up-to-date content on our De-Stress My Mess series and our stories and on our Instagram page. So, if you aren't following us over there, we would love to have you. Um, and if you have a channel, as always, make sure that you leave that in the comment section because we love to go back and support anybody who finds our channel um, and our creators as well. And we also like to follow you all back on Instagram. So, make sure that you're always leaving your channel names in the description or, or not in the description, in the comments, or at least mentioning that you have a channel. So, that being said, this pretty much wraps up today's video, and we are so glad that you joined us, and we will see you next time. Bye, or as Parker would say, peace.